Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 43 of Be With Me in the book of 2 Corinthians. We're going to do a bit of a meditation today, and we're going to let scripture inform our prayers, my prayers. And here's my first request is do not listen to me pray. My, my charge is to pray with me today. We're going to use scripture to, to get the ball rolling in our hearts. As Paul did here, this is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. So to keep me from being conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest in me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So let's use today as a call and response that reflects the character of God. We have to be careful about claiming other people's truths that are in Scripture. But I think we can confront our cares with the character of God and the principles that's in this passage. And let's humbly put this out as a response for us. At least it's a truth to be uh, remembered. Paul is describing his personal story, his painful thorn, the pleading prayers that he gives, this platform, this epic uh, battlefield of good and evil that's being fought and finally the lord's presence that that shows up so pray with me not listen to me pray here we go so lord i have a story that only i can tell just like paul and it involves some sin and it involves some success and in so my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness And Lord, I have a thorn. I have painful things in my life. And I hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And Lord, I have faults and uh, areas where I have been pleading and praying uh, apparently to no answer. And I hear my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And Lord, I have areas where it is a continual battlefield. It's back to the battlefield. It's back to this area, this platform where good and evil fights it out in my life. And I hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And when, Lord, I need your power, a spiritual power, I hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And when I receive a special contact from you or a word from Sunday service or an illumination for from your word, I say and we say in appreciation, in claiming my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And maybe, Lord, when we hear things that cannot be told, we stand on your word as it says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And maybe when we see things in revelations from you or we are caught up in paradise, We humbly celebrate that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And when there is difficulties and infirmities that do not leave, may we say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Or maybe when conceit wells and we are tempted by pride, Let us remember 
your words. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Or when perhaps Satan sends his messenger in a tangible way, we remember that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And Lord, when you speak into our story, our situation, our personal experience, we hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So Lord, may you meet us, may you speak here, may you be per- may you be- make us perfect in our weakness. May you wield your power perfectly as we remember My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And when you ask me to be content in my weakness, and in my weakness be strong, I hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And when I need you now, and what I need you for this situation, and I specifically need you in this time and in this place, I hear you say, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And Lord, that you meet us personally and you meet us uh, in our own story, I thank you and I rejoice that you have told us this morning, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And humbly, Lord, we respond. We place your word before us. We place your word before our stories. We place our your word before our thorns. We place your, our, your word before our unanswered and our pleading prayers with your presence. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness.